The College Baseball Hall of Fame was founded in 2006, but it's been more concept than reality during the last two decades. I spoke with the College Baseball Foundation's new CEO, Tom Jacobs, about why a partnership announced earlier this year with the museum in Overland Park is going to be a home run. To actually have a physical space, you know, that you can that you can walk into and experience Everything that's great about college baseball is just really, really exciting. The College Baseball Foundation, which will own and operate the new Hall of Fame, announced plans in January to open a permanent 8,500 square foot interactive exhibit inside the museum at Prairie Fire. First and foremost, it's a home for them. And when, I, when we say a home for them, you know, to, to tell their story, to preserve their legacy. Um, and and that, that's really what, what the foundation and the Hall of Fame is 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 all about um you know it's it, it, it's really our tagline it's it's honoring the past it's celebrating uh, the, the present and it's inspiring uh, the future. Kansas City based Populous has been selected as the lead designer for the College Baseball Hall of Fame. That announcement, along with the 2024 Hall of Fame class and Jacobs' appointment, were announced last week as the project inches toward reality. You know, we've got a, a target or a goal of, uh, of 12 million uh, that we want and, and need to raise uh, to, to make uh, the, the Hall of Fame uh, a reality and to, to do it to do it right. Uh, to do it at a at a at a really high level, and one like I said, that's going to be really um, not only historical but but fun and and engaging uh, alike. So that that's the that's the process that that we're in now. The College Baseball Hall of Fame hopes to open in the first quarter of 2026, which is about 18 months from now. In Overland Park, I'm Todd Palmer, KSHB 41 News.